if you have to give presentations, like you just got a, a speaking slide at TED or something like that, well, how do you make your slides look like uh, Joey Ito, Ito slides? You know, really beautiful. Well, you could uh, pay somebody, I guess, to uh, handcraft each of your slides. Or uh, in my case, I got the guy who, who designed the iPod to help me out, <laughs> which is not open to everybody, but it's very cool if you can make it happen. Or you can go to Slide Bureau, and they're going to show you uh, how to make really beautiful slides and get rid of that PowerPoint thing. Uh, who are you? My name is Hillel Cooperman. I'm a co-founder of uh, Jackson Fish Market, the company that makes Slide Bureau. Um, spent the last seven years building our startup, uh, building different products, and before that I was at uh, uh, Microsoft for almost 10 years, and we worked there together. I ran the Windows UI team for a while while I was there. Yep. That's where I, we met each other, right? Sure. Uh, back in the good old days when Windows mattered. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it still is selling 300 million copies. I, I right? think it matters. <laughs> it yeah. still matters. Definitely matters. So uh, why do we need yet another presentation tool? I mean, I, we got PowerPoint and Keynote and Prezi and Haiku Deck and on and on. There's lots of companies trying to make it possible to do beautiful presentations. So did you use any of those tools to make your slides? Um, I use Keynote because no, no. Uh, you didn't use Keynote. Well, I used it. But who was the person who designed your slides? Bill Bull. But uh, <laughs> why is that? You couldn't make beautiful slides on your own in Keynote. I can make I can make moderately adequate slides on my own. Is that what you're about? Making things that are adequate? <laughs> no. Okay. So let's do a little. Let's um, before we get into it, I want to do a little crazy experiment. Okay. Okay. And hopefully this will not be here. I will hold. The this camera. camera. You, I hope I'm getting paid for this. Yep. Okay, so you have your new book, Age yep. of Context. Excellent. You go out, do presentations in support of that, and when your slide designer isn't available, maybe there's a slide that you wish existed. Maybe yeah. you could just sketch for me sort of well, I'd, a I'd template like a slide that you would like. Maybe with a, a guy's face over here, you know. Uh -huh. And I am an awful drawer, right? So little little guy's face. And maybe put a Google Glass on him, you know, so... And God knows how to make a Google Glass kind of is this, thing. Is this you that we're supposed to be looking at? I don't know if that's me or whatnot. But okay, I'm, a guy with, okay, and then what would happen here? Just I don't a big, know. A big Just, text, you know. something maybe? Yeah, you know. Okay, a frame. A frame, and then. I got uh, it. And then some you know, big your usual headline. Okay, stuff, something right? there. Okay, very good. All right. You got it. Okay. So now with that, here, I'm going to hand this And that would be you. a lot of, it, as you can tell, I can't draw. Um, and I, um, I uh, don't have my, many skills, and then I even if I could draw, yeah. how do you get that into PowerPoint and make it work, or in a keynote, or into well, into your thing? Well, okay, so this is really the problem. You are the perfect example of someone who goes and spends money on one of these programs, and then goes and has to hire a designer and pay them yeah. to go and. Um, design your slides for you to make them look more than adequate. Yeah. Right? And adequate's not acceptable, no matter yeah. what you're doing. Second thing to consider is um, people use uh, these tools, PowerPoint, Keynote, whatever it happens to be, in all kinds of situations that we don't really think about day to day. It's not just people in a conference room or someone at a conference. I go to my kid's school and the, the lyrics to the song the kids are singing at the assembly are up on the screen looking awful, I, I might add. I mean, really like a, offensive to the eyes. Um, you're a realtor and you're making slide presentations for each of the properties that you're selling and you're sending those to, uh, to your potential clients who might want to buy something from you. There's all kinds of situ or there, one more example, you go up to a restaurant and they have these big screens. They have a, maybe an iPad or a, or a big 16 by nine screen at the, uh, the host's little podium. Yep. showing what the specials are or what the hours are, or just to, you know, pictures of the food. These are all presentations. And the tools that we have today just really aren't designed to make presentations that are effective and that look professional. You've got to hire someone. Yep. If you go search for PowerPoint design services on Google, the nut, the, there's almost no results on the page because the ad areas are so overstuffed with people advertising their services. And that to me is always a sign there's huge competition and huge need. So our thought was, what can we do to fix that? This actually came because I do a lot of presentations. 
So my, uh, one of my partners, Jenny, she is an incredible designer. Uh, and I would go to give talks at TED or wherever, and, and, uh, or, and uh, people say, oh, your slides are so gorgeous. Yep. How did you I've get seen, such gorgeous? I've seen your gorgeous slides. They're actually pretty gorgeous. I'd say, well, Jenny designed them. Too bad Jenny can't design slides for everyone. And then it occurred to us, maybe Jenny could design everybody's slides. And that's the product we created. It's called Slide Bureau. Okay. All right. So let's, let's take a look. Yeah. All right. So first of all, is it, it's a replacement for a PowerPoint or Keynote, or it, it, it's, a, it's a slide yeah. development and presentation tool? Yeah. This is a slide authoring tool. The slide authoring. And service. And, and service, accompanying okay. service. Thank you. Yeah. And the tool, the authoring happens to start on an iPad. And the consumption of the presentations you make can happen on any device with a modern web browser. A Mac, a PC, uh, an Android tablet, an Android phone, a, a, a Windows phone, whatever, whatever it is that has a modern browser, you can consume those presentations. But you, okay. you create them to start on an iPad. Okay. Okay, so let's take a look here. And let me get over here. One second. So actually, we'll, you don't have to do that part yet. Okay. So we'll, I'm going to just use this. And then when I show you that, we can do that. All right. Okay. So here's our, our presentation. Now, obviously, this, this is a presentation about SlideBureau. And the cool thing that here to show you is that um, all of these templates, this notion that you need to have a, a theme, and do I want the dark blue theme, or do I want the one with the gradient, then all my slides will be matchy-matchy. We don't think you need to do that. Every slide has to convey an idea, and a lot of the crime that happens in PowerPoint presentations, and I'm calling it crime, yeah. um, is not only that everything has to match, but that there's so much text stuffed in there. Yeah. And that's because people do presentations that are not only meant to be presented with a speaker, but also meant to be read afterwards. Yeah. So we're creating a tool. And keep in mind, most speakers are not that good, so they use it as a crutch to remember what it's they a were script. supposed to. It's a right. script, right? Imagine going to a movie and watching the actors read from the script and seeing the script right there on, in back of them. Yeah. Right. Totally agree. That's yeah. a great way to think and about it. And so, you know, the first thing is to get to be a better speaker is stop reading your slides, you yeah. know, which is really hard well, to and, do. And don't, yeah, don't put the text on your slides that you're saying. Yeah. Otherwise, why say it? People can read it. So what should be on your slides are things that are complementary, things that aren't going to distract, but they're going to complement. Yeah. And one of the first things you notice here is there's actually very little text on the slide. Um, so this is actually um, a, 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 a slide that um, uh, comes in our template gallery. And that's yeah. really the core concept here, is we have a whole series of templates that make it very, very easy to make gorgeous, gorgeous slides. And they can all look as different as you like. Um, so whether it's uh, a big title, or whether it's a slide with uh, bullets, yeah. or whether it's just a, a, a tagline, uh, whatever, or whether it's just even uh, a title, um, or whether it's even uh, a, a chart yeah. that you want to go label on your own. In this case, uh, not Maslow's hierarchy, but the user experience hierarchy of needs. These are all just examples. Yeah. So now imagine that Slide Bureau comes with, to start, 150 templates that you get to use any way you want. Yeah. Okay? Instantly, you can use any of those to make gorgeous slides. Okay. And even infographics. I look at an amazing site called Visually, and I think to myself, this is the product they should have made. Like, it's great when you have those infographics up on Visually, but they were all made custom by a designer. Well, not everyone can afford a designer. Not everyone has time for a designer. Imagine if you have slides that will make infographics for you. That's sort of our concept. Yeah. So then we thought to ourselves, well, that's great, OK, with charts and quotes here. But what if we were to focus? When I think about our industry, we are hesitant often to do things that are specific to a particular niche when we're a broad platform company. So sure, small companies will focus on realtors. Yeah. Small companies will focus on education. But some of these bigger companies, they'll want a one-size-fits-all approach. Um, and for us, we're a small company. We want to do a broad thing, but we can still afford in our template gallery to focus on individual niches. Yeah. So not just have templates that are broadly applicable, but templates that are specific to 
one discipline, one specific teacher, job. So realtor, teachers, musician. realtors, musicians, lawyers. We focused in this first version just to get our feet wet. Teachers, and, and there's a whole bunch of generic slides as well, but the specific vertical slot templates are teachers, realtors, and restaurant owners just to start. And so went to my kid's third grade teacher and said, how do you use slides in the classroom? She showed us, she told us, we videotaped, we interviewed, and she sketched out templates for us, much like this one, right? So, in fact, let me just do one quick thing. So you gotta send this to Jenny? Yes, I am. <laughs> See what she does with that. Okay, one second. That's the one part I forgot to do. Um, definitely be difficult if I don't send it to her. Um, okay, so we've texted that up to the slide bureau. They're now, they've now got your sketch. Got it. All right, so back to the templates. So we said, okay, it's great that we have all these templates. What if we focus on individuals, individual disciplines? So we talked to the teacher and she said, well, for example, I have my agenda for the day. Yeah. Uh, for example, I show the month, bir the birthdays of the month that all the kids have that month. For example, we use. They told us they use PowerPoint for the kids to make books. The kids will scan in a picture or draw a picture and paint or something, and then the kids will add some text. But again, there's nothing designed for that. So you can yeah. see this template is designed for you know second graders to make a children's book. Yep. Yeah. Um, or we went and talked to a Schultz's sausage great restaurant in the uh, University District in Seattle. And we talked to the general manager, and we talked to the owners, and they showed us what they do. They have gorgeous screens all over, all over the restaurant, showing you know football. We have a, a good football team, by the way. I just thought I would mention that. Yeah, yeah. keep that to yourself. <laughs> I'm actually a Patriots fan, so I feel your pain. Um, so we go there, but to get their content You're from up Seattle. on there. There's I'm from an Se Sorry, I'm from Seattle. There's an inside band. joke there. That, yeah. Yeah, there we so go. Kiss the blues. <laughs> We're here in San Francisco. And One catch, right? One catch. <laughs> yeah, didn't happen. It didn't um, happen. Yeah. Okay. Next year. So I go in there. They've got all these screens, but no way to get content on there. Yeah. Now, I, I, we talked to them. What is it they wanted? Today's special or the beer special or karaoke night. Or, uh, or whatever it happens, we have a whole slew. The one thing I'll point out here that you may not have noticed, okay, what you're looking at right here on this screen is 16 by nine. Yeah. But there are also screens, for example, this screen. Yeah. You got it? Yeah, I'm rocking this Okay, here, you there can, you go. Uh, get them both at the yep. same time. Oh, there you go. So, so you got the 16 by nine. And this and one's three by four. Okay. Okay. That one's 16 by nine. This is three by four. Same slide. Automatically adjust for both screens. Cool. Right now, when you go and you create a slide in any tool, you've got to pick. Okay, am I making three by four? Am I making 16 by nine? And if you want to reuse the temp, if you want to reuse your presentation on multiple screens, you're making two presentations. This takes care of it automatically, and we scaled it up to 4K screens. So the, the graphics are super high res. Very so cool. When you get that 4K tablet, which doesn't exist yet, we will look great on it. Yep. All so right. you're device independent, you're, you, the, the content. Exactly. The, the, the slides themselves are all HTML and CSS, work in any modern browser. So you don't have to have an iPad. They can view, be viewed in any modern browser, phone, tablet, desktop, laptop, whatever. Cool. Okay, so then we said to ourselves, okay, great. We've got broad generic templates. We've got templates that are for um, uh, 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 specific disciplines. What about templates that talk to services? So he said, well, let's combine that with our focus on uh, realtors. Okay. So we went and talked to a uh, realtor, Olga. She uh, is a realtor for a developer. And we said, well, what would you do? And she says, well, I'd like to have a picture of the property. I'd like to have the metadata about the property. And I'd like to have a map. And we said, well, instead of making her go get a screenshot, what if and again, here, why don't you take a look at this. Yep. What if we just embedded Google Maps right in the service? Nice. So this is not a screenshot. This is live. Yep. You can zoom in and all that fun stuff. Yep. Yep. There you go. 
Yay. And that's just the start. You can imagine for realtors, if we create slides to talk to services like Zillow or Redfin or the MLS or whatever it happens to be, this is, we've just scratched the surface on what's possible. Okay. Um, and again, just more templates that are specific to, uh, that are specific to uh, what she does. And here's a, 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 there's a stock slide, there's a full screen Google Maps slide. Again, just a little taste of the kind of things that we offer. Yeah. Okay, so the template gallery starts off with 150 templates at least. We're, we're launching very soon, so the number is a little fuzzy, but there'll be at least 150 in there. Okay. But over time, we'll have hundreds and eventually thousands. Okay. And the nice part is that eventually you'll also, and if you look in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, don't see the template you want, you'll press the button and you make a request. Which is sort of what we did. Exactly. Here. You okay. just sketch it on a napkin, send us a smoke signal, send us a copy of your horribly ugly slide. Think of it as like extreme makeover for your presentation. Okay. And, then, and if we don't have it, we'll add it. And so let me show you, oh, and one more thing here before I show you how to do editing. If you'll notice this presentation that I've been doing. Yep. I think okay. we have to, there you go. So you may have noticed Watch what happens when I change the slide here on the iPad, the slide changes on my laptop. Or on your Apple TV, or on your... Or on any web browser you're looking at it in. In other words, this is not a function of me having some special connection between my iPad and this device here on our local network. This just works over the internet with this remote control button. You turn on remote control, you swipe the original slide and anyone looking at your published slide deck anywhere in the world, you get to drive. So now, instead of all this fumbling around and trying to, are we using screen sharing on this service or uh, broadcasting video on that service, just pick up the phone, talk to someone, and then you can control, oh, are you on slide 27? That's done. They don't, you, you get to control the presentation no matter where anyone's looking at it, and that's what we've been doing. Here. Got it. Okay. So you're just running that in a web browser? Yeah, that's just running in a web browser. Okay, cool. Okay, so now so no, no funny Apple TV or airplane. No, 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 like no. I, I can run it on your phone if you like. I can run it on on any device, any browser. No problem. Okay, just works. Cool. Okay, so with that, let me show you what it means to actually go create a presentation in here. Okay. Okay. So we talked about the fact that we want to make it impossible to make something unattractive, impossible to make something that doesn't show your. Uh, uh, idea in the best light. Okay. What, what timing on that? Okay, remind me later. I will. I won't rate it while we're on uh, camera. Yeah. Okay. So for example, um, here. Let's look. So we just picked a template, yep. and I don't think this will be in my. Oh yeah. All right. Um, oops. So you notice, I don't get to change the typography, I don't get to change the color, I don't get to change the size or the layout. I get to turn my information and then we make it beautiful. And if, let's do it again. So if, uh, let's say we want to talk about, give me some big important number that you think about. Uh, 6,000 employees. Okay. Okay. That's the number of employees here. Yeah. Space. I can type faster with two hands. But yeah. Okay. So 6,000 rack space employees. And if I wanted to change this template, you'll notice we had a whole series that are large numbers. So I picked this one. And the data is non destructible, right? So even if you, right now, watch what happens here. Okay. Here, let's switch to another template. Okay. So this template that we're loading. Um, it's focused on a big number and a subtitle. Yep. Um, but in fact, okay, we're still, come on Verizon, you can do it. Do, do, do. There we go. So, um, but, so you see up here what it says is, uh, it, when I started typing it said number and it said subtitle. Now if I go to a template that doesn't have those, let's pick uh, uh, this guy right here. Notice it kept the subtitle in place and then the title's empty because it doesn't have a spot it doesn't have that information, but even though it's not showing the 6,000 that we typed, yeah. that's still here. It just says, hey, that's not visible using this template. Okay. Okay. So 
So it's, the templates are smart about the kind of things. Exactly. They, they preserve the information. So today, if you're using PowerPoint, and yep. you go from a template that has some data to a template that doesn't have that field, it just sort of leaves it like trash on your screen. We, pres we tuck it away so it doesn't muddy up your slide, but we preserve it. We don't destroy any of your data. Very cool. Make sense? Yep. Um, so uh, here, and I'll just give you a sense. We can tour around the gallery just for some of these things. So for example, if I wanted to see all of the slides for teachers, here they are. Uh, and there's all these uh, world maps and uh, messages of the day and uh, special flashcards. And here's uh, the birthdays that we show. Now, it's interesting that you chose these categories. Are, are you going to have a lot more categories in the future? That's a great question. Yeah. So, Because if I'm assigned to give a TED Talk, I, I don't want to use the teachers. Well, you can use anything you like. But yeah. if you are assigned, but you can imagine we'll have uh, inspirational, or we'll have a professional speaker, or we'll have uh, environmental lawyers, or we'll have uh, mob accountants. It, it does, <laughs> whoever's doing presentation, that's the thing. The, the point of this is not for us to uh, sell you a piece of technology. Yeah. What we're offering is a service. Okay. What we're offering is Jenny and our team to go and create templates. Well, that, that on sounds an ongoing expensive. Basis. How, how do I? Uh, first of all, how much does Slidebrio cost to start with? So and it's free. It's free. Yes. So everything we've been playing, most of what we've been so playing with. So here's free. here's the way it's going to work. Okay. Um, the app is free, and it always will be free. The app will come with some number of templates that are free. Okay. Okay. Let's say that number will be somewhere around twenty or thirty. Okay. Okay. Anything beyond that, you'll pay for. And you'll pay either 10 bucks a month or 100 bucks a year or maybe, I don't know, six, seven bucks for a 48 or 72 hour pass. Something along those lines. We haven't worked out the details because the first 10,000 people that download, create, and share a presentation are going to get a free year subscription. Okay. So that's unlimited access to all the templates we make. And even once your subscription runs out or your pass runs out, you keep whatever templates you used in your presentation. It's yours, it's not ours, and it's hosted on the service and it just works. That never goes away. Very cool. Makes sense? Yep. So here, just to give you a little more of a sense just for how much stuff we have in here. Again, here's slides for a uh, realtor. Uh, there's preferred vendor slides, a business card, a realtor business card. And we even have, um, and here's all these restaurant slides, election night, food blogging, St. Patrick's. We even have slides for trivia night. So uh, a lot, this sports bar or this uh, bar, they have uh, trivia night. And we have not only the announcement, but we have the question and answer slides for, that, for them to use, okay. which has been really nice. Cool. Yeah, so that's, that's Slide Bureau. Yay. Um, uh, da, da, da. What else do we need to know about this? It's pretty straightforward. Uh, the slides all look beautiful if I need new slides. Now, it, are we going to see the uh, I'm waiting for the text. Uh, okay. <laughs> I screwed it up. Je by I waited uh, 10 minutes to send her the text, so I gave her a 10 minute. Uh, I, that's I, right. I, yeah. uh, but we'll, it'll we'll, it'll we'll be come ready back in a couple in minutes. Second. Yeah. Um, how, uh, tell me about the company. How many people work there and how is it funded? So uh, the, the company is um, Jackson Fish Market, and uh, we've been around for seven years, and this is not our first uh, product that we've created. We've created a bunch, um, but it's our latest. And there's six of us, uh, three partners, uh, myself, Jenny, and Jeff, uh, and then we have uh, three employees <laughs> Very cool. in addition to us. And as far as funding, um, we've been really lucky. So Jackson Fish Market's other business is a sort of high-end uh, user experience consulting boutique design shop. Yep. Uh, and so we design software for other startups and for big companies too. And luck, we're very fortunate. We have great customers, great clients, and they come to us and, and uh, uh, pay us to design their software and then we can use our profit to invest in our own company. Yep. But you know, it's, it's interesting that you bring that up. That is what we do best, is take people, as, as a consulting company, we take people's um, ideas, we take their concepts and we, we make them effective and beautiful. And so in a way, Slide Bureau is us taking the consulting work we do, the design work we do on a per client basis and scaling that up to the whole universe, yeah. right? So yeah, it's true. When uh, you ask us for a template, we'll do it and we'll make it available for everyone, not just for you. Yep. Until we get to enterprise customers, for example. Yeah, if I want a Shell, uh, you know, if I work at Shell or at Chevron, and I make a Chevron branded right. uh, theme that I'm going to so, pay for. Exactly. So let's say Chevron said, "Hey, we want to use Slide Bureau for you know a thousand of our employees." 
They come to us, we do a special deal, we give them a site license to uh, uh, Sly Bureau, and as part of that, we would create custom a whole set of templates that were branded with Chevron and that were only available to their users, users yeah. with the, uh, that authenticate as Chevron employees or whoever they decided. Now, why, why edit only on the iPad? Why, why not do editing on the, on the laptop? Look, it's not that we're opposed to editing on the laptop. But what we believe is that more and more people are using these tablet device, touch devices, whether they're, they have a keyboard attached or not. I'm not, I, we have no religion about this, but they're using touch devices to create presentations and to communicate, right? Uh, the realtor in, in her SUV that's driving around all day and trying to, there's not time to go back to the desk, right? You, these presentations for her, just to give you a little case, right? She's in her car most of the day. That is her office or a coffee shop. Yeah. She's creating presentations and has to post them on her website. So of course, you can also go and uh, not just email the presentation, but you can uh, grab the embed link and embed this on the web page. So she can go and have a presentation with all her properties yeah. at the top of her WordPress installation or whatever it happens to be. And she can use Slide Bureau to update that slideshow inside her pinned blog post without ever talking to her web developer. So now it saves her money, it saves her time. Can I convert it to PowerPoint if I need to, or a Keynote or something like that? So we have Dropbox integration, okay. and you can export it to a PDF that, and put it on Dropbox, and then import that into PowerPoint or Keynote or any tool you like. Yep. And you can also import a PDF into Slide Bureau from Dropbox. Oh, cool. So if you have a slide that was made in Keynote or PowerPoint that you are dying to have, we, have, we can have it here. Yep. Now, I will caution you, it will not automatically adjust to between three by four and 16 by nine. Yep. So you get black bars, but you can't have everything. Now, if I have an existing uh, deck, can I send that to Slide Bureau and have you guys start with that existing deck and then remake it to be- Sure, send be it over. OL approved? I, exactly, <laughs> Hello Jenny and Jeff approved. And actually, it's, it's at the end of every uh, presentation. It's, it's um, approved yeah. by the Slide Bureau. Yeah, <laughs> very cool. But, uh, but I did want to get back to one thing you asked about, about creating on the iPad. When you notice the way you use Keynote, and Keynote is a lovely piece of software, yeah. but Apple couldn't, they couldn't not give you the ability to do fine grain manipulation of objects on the Keynote canvas yeah. when you're using it on the iPad. And frankly, that's hard. Like, I, oh, I wanna move this over a little bit and they can give you all the grids and you know, snapping and, and shortcuts you want, but it's still not comfortable. And so for us, designing something that made sense for the tablet meant none of that stuff. Yeah. We'll take care of it for you. You don't have to do that. And I think that's fundamentally different about what we do versus when you see any other, other tool out there. Yeah. If, if you're really a professional like Bill Bull is, you know, the guy who designed the iPod and took my slide deck and, yeah. and did the Jenny treatment to yeah. it, right? He did all sorts of uh, blends and uh, yeah, but, animations. And he did those in Photoshop and Illustrator and then brought them into PowerPoint yeah. or Keynote, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Nor, uh, school teacher's not going to do that. Right. Uh, we'll do it for people. we'll do it for you. We'll do it for the school teacher. We'll do yeah. it for everybody. You, you're giving 10,000 Slide Bureau customers free subscription. First 10,000, you got to you got to set up an account. You got to create a slide deck, and you got to share it, yeah. and then you get a free subscription for a year. Cool. First 10,000. And where do we sign up? So you can go to slidebureau.com, or just go to the App Store and search for Slide Bureau. Or probably you could even search for Keynote or PowerPoint, maybe it would show up. I, I don't know how that smart. works. <laughs> it's it's all magical to me. Well, thank you so much for showing it to me. It's right, really thanks, great. Robert.